Hi, I'm Chef Mike and welcome to Harris Teeter. Today it's a delicious pan-seared tilapia filet with a corn and tomato salad. So let's get started. We're going to start the salad with the Florida Super Sweet Corn. We'll take our knife and remove the corn kernels from the cob onto a paper towel. And we'll place it into our mixing bowl. Now, don't forget to milk the cobs with the sharp edge of your knife. You don't want to leave any of that flavor behind. Next, we're going to prep our Florida tomatoes. We'll start by removing the top, and we're going to use the best tools in the kitchen, your fingers, to poke in to push out the seeds and juice. Next, we're going to cut around to remove the outer part of the skin where all the wonderful flavor is. And then we'll dice. We'll start with a julienne cut, turn, line them up, and we'll make our dice. And we'll add them to our corn. Now the dressing is really easy. It starts with the Gourmet Garden squeezed basil. Next we'll add our red wine vinegar. We'll bring it together with a whisk, adding our olive oil a little bit at a time to get a nice emulsification. We're going to add a touch of salt and some fresh cracked pepper. We'll add our dressing and we'll pop it in the fridge after we get a sample. Mmm, mmm. It's very important to heat your skillet over a medium-high heat for at least one minute. In the meantime, we're going to season our tilapia fillets with some kosher salt and some fresh cracked pepper. Tilapia is high in protein and very low in fat, perfect for this recipe. Next, we'll add the oil and swirl the coat well, and we'll add our tilapia fillets. We'll cook them for one minute, and we'll give them a turn. This is what we're looking for, a nice bronze color, delicious flavor. Now we'll cook on the second side for about one minute, then we'll add our gourmet garden squeezed garlic to the pan. Then we'll cook for one more additional minute. They're looking good, they're flaking, so we'll remove them from the pan and we'll set them aside. Next, remove the pan from the heat source and we'll add our simply naked unoaked Chardonnay wine and return to the heat. Now we're going to use our whisk to knock the brown bits off the bottom of the pan while we reduce it by half. We'll finish our pan sauce by adding in some butter and we'll give it a whisk and bring it together. Wow, smells really good. Let's serve it up. Enjoy this dish with a glass of the Simply Naked Unoaked Chardonnay. You'll love the bold flavors and crisp, clean, lingering finish. Enjoy!